Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto and finance. That is why I love doing, love doing daily market updates. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm coming to you live from my phone, I should say, uh, because my computer decided to destroy itself and the software is completely gone. But anyway, I'm doing it on my phone because why? There is a lot happening in the crypto markets. But anyway, I'm going to have a quick flick Guys, so we can see, <clears throat> excuse me, we have obviously the Ripple IPO, which could send XRP absolutely flying as well as their share price, which I would actually love to buy. Uh, an updated XRP rich list right here. We have Pro XRP Lawyer Tips and Outright SEC Victory, which is really nice as well. You've got XLM, IOTA, and XRP eyeing off a swift integration right here. Everyone's favorite, Jamie Dimon, talking about a Fed rate hike, pause incoming, which is going to be interesting as well. Terra Classic shooting up 30% on the day. Russian bank launches new cross-border payments uh, system right here, which is interesting. Do Kwan is actually out on bail, which is in you know, interesting as well to see what he's going to do. And Credit Suisse, one a company that uh, I'm actually invested in on uh, Wall Street, which is really interesting as well. And I'm going to get into that because it just got integrated with Polygon Matic. Bullish. Now, anyway, guys, let's get into the video. And again, massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, if you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing, with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are about to get wild in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. Right? So give it a good old thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys absolutely rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. And yes, I'm going to go straight to the community tab. And I'm sorry everyone's going to have a sore neck by the uh, end of this. But anyway, obviously, altcoins up in my portfolio. We had Lunk, Luna Classic, Meta Hero, which is interesting as well. Sandbox, Mana, and Luna. Again, Terra, Luna, all this stuff's coming up right now. It's very interesting, but uh, I'm still holding them, of course. Now, uh, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, ladies and gentlemen, as well as OKX. Uh, obviously, OKX being a new partner and uh, of the channel, which is really nice as well. So guys, there is a referral link below for every single one of my exchanges, CoinSpot and OKX. So please feel free to use them below. Now, again, all the prices you see here are in Australian dollars and everything else is set to US dollars because I'm catering for everybody around the world and my Aussie fans. Now, Bitcoin sitting at 41,000 today. ETH at 2,916. You've got XRP at 83 cents, moving to up 2% today, which is really nice. Solana is at $33. Matic, very bullish on Matic, $1.38. Tron's at 12 cents as well, dot $8.26, which is really good. You've got Chainlink at $9. Scrolling down, you've got Hedera at 7 cents, which is really nice. VChain at 3 cents. Quant, 179 down 2.27% today. Uh, we've got Algorand at 23 cents as well. Very, very nice. Axie's up 2% to $11. I've been staking this on CoinSpot, uh, earning some nice interest at 45%, which is just ridiculous. But anyway, uh, moving on, we've got CFX at 40 cents today. Chili's at 15. I'm, I'm trading that in the Patreon, which is absolutely insane as well. My bots are still up. IOTA's at 31 cents. Casper's at 7 cents as well. Very, very bullish. And XDC at 5 cents. Really nice to see these gains. Now... Let's go to crypto bubbles. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize about this thing being on the side, but I have the Wall Street Bull Patreon. Links below the Wall Street Bull University. Again, I put up all my buys, my sells, my trades, my crypto trading bots, my indicators, news before I go on the channel, and most importantly, my dividend investing, which does provide passive income every single month. So go join up. That is a very, very bullish community, guys. And I love talking with everyone in there as well. And I'm about to get to everyone's comments uh, when I finish up here, guys. I've had some major computer problems. But anyway... Crypto bubbles, we've got Luna Classic up on the day right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to do this on the side. I do apologize. Uh, you can see right here, it's up 7.9% on the day, 103 on the week, 195 on the year, which again, I've been holding this for a long time since the collapse, but we'll see where this goes. Sandbox, 
Uh, 6.1% on the day, 11.8% on the week, and 63 on the month. Still uh, 61 cents. I think the whole metaverse stuff... You know, it was a phase, it was a you know a stage in the crypto market, but we'll see where it goes. Again, I'm still holding both of these assets. Mana, I should say Decentraland, 5% on the day, 7.6 on the week right here, 51 cents at the moment. Some incredible buying opportunities again, in my opinion. XDC is at 3 cents USD. Very, very nice. XLM is at 9 cents. Again, bullish. We have Algo at 1.8% as well, still at 14 cents again. Very, very nice. And uh, XRP, this thing right here, right on the left-hand side, 1.5 on the day, still up 10.8 on the week, 14.1% on the month, and 33% on the year, which is really nice as well. Now, I'm going to go into the news. Now, I'm going to turn my phone this way, guys. Uh, this may be giving you a little bit of a break on the neck right here, but Ripple con contemplates an IPO as the SEC lawsuit finally nears its end. Will it propel to $10 right here? And again, I would love to buy this IPO, but uh, it's considering uh, obviously starting the initial public offering as the legal uh, battle with the US SEC approaches its conclusion. And during a 31st interview with Digital Perspectives, Linda P. Jones, a seasoned Wall Street veteran and 25 years of experience, alluded to the possibility of providing her expert analysis on the potential implication, implications right here of an IPO. Jones performed, uh, performed an initial assessment on the approximate potential stock value of Ripple. Uh, using the latest data uh, from private investments firm linked to, she determined that Ripple's current share price of $35, which corresponds to its valuation of $5.7 billion, linked to offers interested investors on the opportunity to purchase the stocks before the company goes uh, IPO, which is crazy as well. And Jones highlighted a disparity in the link to his valuation, suggesting that it seems disproportionately low when considering Ripple's historical performance and its significant holdings. Drawing attention to Ripple's extensive XRP reserves, Jones emphasized that the 42 billion XRP tokens held in escrow are currently valued at 21 billion. And assuming the market of uh, 50 cents per token, in her view, the valuation alone exceeds Ripple's current market value by four times, indicating a significant undervaluation and suggesting that Ripple's true worth could be considerably higher, which would just be insane as well, guys, basically meaning $600 per share, which is wild. Now, obviously the XRP rich list right here, and again, I do apologize about this small screen right here, but... In order to be in the top 10% of XRP holders, you need to be holding 3,344 XRP. This has increased. And again, the historical wallet address is right here. And again, I do apologize. You can see it right now. This is increasing every single day. Literally. Has been since last year. Look at that increase right there. It's really nice. So now we're currently sitting at the 4th of June. Uh, that is as an update. They met 4.7 million wallet addresses. And I do apologize about that. But yes, guys, it's absolutely crazy. Now, moving on, we've got some other news updates. Let me just wait for this to re uh, reload. But obviously, you've got uh, Ripple Case Pro XRP lawyer tips outright SEC victory in less than three is less than three percent. So crazy. But Pro lawyer Johnny Deaton, whose uh, Twitter account actually got hacked, basically this says uh, the SEC's tipped um, less than three percent chance of the United States SEC Commission to score an outright win against Ripple as the end is the uh, you know coming closer and closer every single day and again he basically has been verbal advocate for Ripple since the case was filed against them in 2020 and uh, which is interesting but Deaton has said he tipped 25 percent chance the presiding U.S. District Judge Torres rules in an outright favor of Ripple and a 50 percent chance that the Ripple claims victory by way of splitting the baby ruling this refers, obviously, to Judge Torres drawing a line in the sand where she could potentially rule that the XRP was offered as an unregistered security before 2018. However, in the wake of the Hinman documents, which refer to internal SEC messages uh, by, you know, Mr. Hinman, it is possible that cryptocurrencies can tra transition from securities to commodities once they become sufficiently decentralized. So I would love to see the, the uh, SEC absolutely lose, and who wouldn't? Now... Crypto Giants, XRP, Stellar, and XLM, and IOTA right here. And I should say uh, Ripple, Stellar, and IOTA, of course, uh, with Swift integration, which would be crazy for a billion-dollar crypto market. And crypto heavyweights, Ripple, Stellar, and IOTA are making technological advancements and ensuring regulatory compliance in an effort to achieve Swift integration, which is inter interesting in, in its own, guys. It really is. But the revolutionary projects seek to champion crypto adoption by integrating traditional financial systems with the new financial system leveraging blockchain chain technology. That will happen. This will happen, in my opinion. It's just too big. These companies, and I should say these projects, 
have already got the technology. All these in old and uh, legacy systems need to tap into this new technology. That's why they've been built. Now, obviously, Jamie Dimon says that uh, a Fed rate hike pause incoming right now. There is a big catch. JP Morgan is forecasting a pause from the Federal Reserve's rate hikes, but with a caveat for risk asset bulls. And the new uh, in interview on Bloomberg right here, Diamond, a crypto critic, says that pausing rate hikes is possibly the right thing to do at this point. My simple view is that they're the pause, the point, uh, sorry, the pause at this point, there's been a big increase, 500 basis points or so. Welcome to the club here in Australia as well. Take a pause, but I don't think it's possible, but they're going to have to raise a little bit more that inflation kind of sticker. I think that once they start, uh, you know, raising these again, uh, which I, I think they will do all around the world anyway, it's happening. Uh, a lot of people are going to start turning to cryptocurrencies because again, the returns we get is insane. Moving on, Terra Classic is shooting up as well, 30%, which is crazy. And uh, Lunk, the original chain of collapsed Terra Luna ecosystem, has experienced a significant surge in value, offering a glimmer of hope amidst uh, weeks of bearish sentiment. And again, I'm not complaining about 28.59%, which is crazy. And the surge is primarily attributed to an increased buying pressure, propelling Luke, Lunk's market cap, I hate that name, but 635 million with over 138 million flowing into the token in just one day. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm still holding that. You've got a Russian bank uh, obviously launching its own cross-border crypto payment system, which is interesting as well. And Russia's, one of Russia's biggest banks is reportedly launching a new cross-border payment system utilizing crypto assets. Hmm. Russian Republican Vedomotsky right here, Representative Ross Bank, uh, says that the institution is already conducting test transactions with private and corporate clients. Interesting. We have Do Kwon basically out on bail and the court could uh, obviously, or, or should say, dismiss this prosecution appeal. Terraformer Labs co-founder is out on bail after successful appeal in the Montenegro court right here, but will be closely monitored until his next court appearance. And I believe he had to pay like something like $400,000 to get on bail. I mean, he's got the money. There it is right there. 436000 right here to be released from custody, which is crazy. Now, this is interesting, and not many people are speaking about this, but Credit Suisse indirectly lands on Polygon. And this is crazy right here, but the, a company, uh, sorry about these pop-ups, guys. Uh, Taurus, a company funded by part of the now bankrupt Credit Suisse, announces that the integration of Polygon for a tokenization of real assets. And in February, it raised $65 million through funding round led by Credit Suisse, in which Deutsche Bank and uh, Pick Tech Group and Arab Bank Switzerland also participated. The integration of Polygon on the platform right here was recently announced as well. So again, this is what I'm saying. All of these institutions are going to be jumping into this, but Credit Suisse is not only a major funder of Taurus, um, but also one of the users of its services as well. Keep an eye on this, guys, because I'm bullish on Matic as well. And I'm getting rid of this stupid thing here. Do not listen to that. Anyway, I can't even show you crypto meters. Oh, yes, we can. Money flowing into XRP, Bitcoin, Solana, Litecoin. Uh, what else we've got here, guys? Uh, EDU, Lena. I don't know what these are and I don't really care. FXS, City. Anyway, that they're basically just rubbish. Let's go to Twitter and have a quick look at this, guys. Yes, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Make sure you go follow me on the air. Thank you very much to those 4,643 people. You guys absolutely rock. I am giving this bull ring away when I hit 100,000 subs on YouTube. Jim Cramer says it's over for Bitcoin, which is hilarious. Plan B, legend, still in early bull market stage. Crazy. This is why I'm loving it. Slowly dollar cost averaging. Yes, Johnny Deaton should have his uh, Twitter page back as well. And the MUFG Bank, Japan's largest bank working in over 50 countries, in 2018 has signed an MOU with Banco Brasquito right here, SA, second largest bank in Brazil, to develop cross-border payments between Japan and Brazil utilizing Ripple's technology. It's right in front of us right here. And again, there's an interesting thing here in terms of a Supreme Court recent verdict, Slack versus Pirani. Pirani uh, may revolutionize the game for XRP in the secondary market. It strongly reaffirms that security does not retain its status outside the initial investment contract. This is potentially redefines XRP standing as a security, a game changer for crypto and blockchain. Very, very nice. So thank you for that tweet. Beautiful stuff here on the XRP ledger. Uh, in this issue, Tether announces a sustainable Bitcoin mining project in Uruguay. Again, a lot of people are mining Bitcoin. Yes, right here, Johnny Deaton tweeting from my daughter's account. I still do have access to my Twitter account. Twitter informed me that the account can take one to three days. Elon Musk, this must be fixed. 
of course. Uh, Fed now an ACI plus Ripple. And again, look at this, guys, as you can see right here. ACI supports around 9% of global SWIFT traffic and approximately 30% of US ACI offers services to banks around the world wanting to connect and leverage the SWIFT Global Payments Initiative. ACI also supports real-time schemes around the world, meaning that any bank can use real-time payment systems to support SWIFT, FIN, SIN, right, or I should say FIN, DLT, EG, Ripple, Wire, and Immediate Payments bullish. And right here, Capital Firm expects $15,296 Bitcoin, I should say XRP. So it's been a long day. If that happens, forget it. It's going to be wild. Thank you, Fabio, as well. By the way, that meetup was awesome on um, uh, Saturday. It was incredible. Buckle up, folks. Rumors swirl around Ripple's IPO projected to be a drop dropping 20x ver uh, valuation surge which I just mentioned before as well. And we'll end up on this, guys. The US Supreme Court just came out last week. Uh, this case, it analogs right here to XRP in the secondary market if or slash where the XRP was sold as an investment contract. XRP doesn't magically maintain status as a sec security outside the context of an initial contract. Unbelievable, guys. Anyway, let's go to quickly coin market cap. And we're going to end up on this, guys, and I can't turn my phone. I apologize. $1.1 trillion right here, $26 billion in volume. And of course, we've got 45% BTC, 19.85% Ethereum. This is my list. I post up every single morning in the Patreon. Make sure you join up. It's linked below. And if I go to the banking coins, guys, this is where my money is going. It's not financial advice, uh, but this is where the money, real money is going for banks and institutions right here. No brainer. Anyway, guys, that is it. And I do apologize about... Uh, everything obviously in there, you know, being on the phone, I do, uh, it's just been a freaking nightmare, but thank you very much. Make sure you join the Patreon as well, guys. I'm putting some updates in there tonight. Follow me on socials and I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. All right, guys, maybe my computer will be working by then. All right, peace out. Bye.